All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are heading into one of our favorite Play It Again sports. We have found some crazy stuff here in the past, some Scotty Cameron's tour issue stuff, but never know what you're gonna find, so? Let's go find let's it. Let's go find it. All right, as always, we gotta check on our lifetime supply of Orlemar Tri-Metals. Look like they are dwindling down, but getting replaced with uh, some other good stuff. We got a V-Steel, got some hammers. The perfect club. <laughs> the perfect club. We got the uh, As Seen On TV section, along with our Orlemar Tri-Metals, the beloved Orlemar Tri-Metals. Got an Adam's Idea Pro. Uh, going for $20. Well, this Ooh. one wants to come out with us for oh, some reason. Oh, look, I said friend and he came out <laughs> <laughs> see what they got in terms of the wedges. We found a few uh, tour issue ones over here before. I got a bunch of uh, brand new and plastic Ray Cook ones. Oh, check this out. We got a uh, Wilson TW5. I actually used the uh, lob wedge of this in high school. I love these. They have a ton of weight on the uh, top end right there. Mm -hmm. So it has a really low ball flight and spins an absolute ton. Uh, 20 duck, 20 ducks, 20 bucks. <laughs> definitely going to uh, get that. I don't think they like that currency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get some Ping Zing twos over here. A couple of uh, loose of the apex edges. Yeah, I think it's a complete set. Oh those. yeah, three, six, four, five E. There's five of the clubs. Yeah, five of the clubs. But how much are those going for individually? Going for ten dollars a piece. Dang. Yeah, that's a yeah good deal mm -hmm. for sure. We got some Cleveland RTX 588s with the Rotex 2.0 grooves forty dollars on that what else do we have over here just a regular wilson harmonized not just a regular wilson yeah not this is not the uh, wilson that we are looking for that we actually did a review of that it's the cheapest wedge on uh, amazon did that review with my dad oh check these out oh. <laughs> taylor made fire souls a whole set of them oh is, is this a nubbins putter yeah. oh that yeah, comes with a nubbins do putter still have the bag too? oh yeah they had an awesome taylor made uh oh yeah that is nostalgia overload right there. That's so that cool. is super cool. Also, check this out. Got a strata bag right there. Oh, look at Hippo with a Sobe or Sobe, however you say yeah, that. Uh, one of those yeah, ones. we have a, a Sobe uh, staff bag. Mm -hmm. Oh man, check this out. McGregor V foil demo bag. Yeah, I still have the Casey Martin one too back there. Oh yeah, that is cool. Casey Martin was Tiger Woods' uh, teammate at Stanford, and he was a coach at uh, Oregon. Oh, check this out. We got a Peretti putter. Ooh. $299. Tony Fina used one of these for a while. Grip. Yeah, the grip is, these are ridiculously high end. How much is this going for? $299. Yeah, it's about how much they go for. That is super cool to us. See in the store though. Got a Seymour, one of the newer ones, going for $129. Oh, is that the Arnold Palmer? The original. Yeah, that is awesome. How much is that? $49.99. That's a good deal on that one. Oh, I think this is a Nike, uh, yeah, it's a Nike unitized putter. These things were super cool when they first came out. Basically, the technology was that it was all one piece yeah. of uh, metal, hence why it's called the uh, unitized. I found one of those at a pawn shop. You actually walked right by it. Yeah, and then you found it. Was, <laughs> <laughs> you always find the uh, good stuff. $80 on that. Got an yeah. Iomic grip on there. Nike, oh, the blue oh yeah, Oz. Nike Oz, the blue chip one. Oh, another Nubbins. This is like a nostalgia overload <laughs> today. We got some twenty dollars oh, on that. The grip too. Oh yeah, huh? This one's definitely not the original no, grip. Seymour putter probably is, but it's covered. This thing is super goofy. The teardrops. Uh -huh. Basically, the technology on that is a roll face. So like, no matter where you hit it on the face, you kind of hit it, and roll. yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ashley explains things better than me. <laughs> so you don't have to cry over your putter. Oh, this is sweet. The Odyssey Black Series. Ooh. Phil used one of these for a while. Black Series Tour Design number eight. That one's actually really hard to find. Hundred dollars on that. I don't know how much those are still going for. I haven't looked it up in a while, but yeah. that is super, super it's cool. cool to see. Here's an, another uh, Wilson eighty eight two style putter. I think this one's called the eight eight. Yeah, eight eight two. I wonder where <laughs> they got the uh, numberings for uh, that one. Oh, check this out. It's a tad more putter. You never see these. Eighty dollars on that. These are ridiculously high end milled putters. Mm -hmm. That is, that yeah, here. that is super cool. Definitely going to uh, pick that up. That is, it's like a $250 putter. That is <laughs> awesome. Really cool. Got another Arnold Palmer one over here. What is this thing? It's like a yeah, Yes Seagroove. What is, is the, the O putter? putter? Patent pending. That is strange. I have never seen that before. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, the, yeah it almost yes. looks like the Yes Seagroove. That is pretty cool. Oh. Speaking of uh, Bobby Grace V-Foil, well, speaking of V-Foil, there is a Bobby Grace V-Foil uh, putter right here. 
by grace one of my favorite putter designers of all time forty dollars on that i really like the uh, v-foil design but the uh, insert on it i never really like the uh, feel of it mm -hmm. he has some of like the custom ones that we found at garage sales with the uh, black insert those ones are way better speaking of black insert there's a uh, odyssey dual force 990 oh yeah kind of the uh, <laughs> same uh, head shape for sure let's go check out the woods got a couple of things that we're definitely going to get let's go check out the woods got some warriors new in plastic slazenger wrath ATX. Never seen that. It's a funny name. The judge, you're oh. judging it. <laughs> yeah, judging it for sure. We drove by the uh, judge in Alabama. That course looked amazing. Oh, yeah, I was so sad that we didn't get to play there. Got a 975J with a custom paint job with USC Pro 4 <laughs> session. Oh, check this out. R7 Quad TP. This was the driver when I was in high school. Now it's like the size of a three wheel. Yeah, it's super uh, <laughs> small. Oh, Nike Covert. And that one's got a dent in it, though. But the yeah, Nike Covert and Nike VRS. Uh, some of my favorites of Nike. I say everything's my favorite. Nike Vapor. <laughs> I have a lot of favorites. I love yes. all of my uh, children. All that sounded my weird. Loves equally. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of Mavericks right here. I actually use the uh, three wood of this. $179 on the five wood. Mm, one of my favorites too. The yeah, GX7. <laughs> G7, so yeah, G7 X is a, a very popular camera. We always get them mixed up whenever we uh, say them. Oh, another, another of the uh, coverts. What else we got over here? Oh, here we go. Titleist H2. It's somewhat newer. Fifty dollars. Dang, that's a good deal on that one. I've never seen this strip on before. Yeah, that's one of the uh, older ones. That uh, model, or not like that model, but like that era of Strix on irons, super soft, and you can get those for like nothing mm. now. Got it. Callaway ERC Fusion, got the Mashi. Speaking of getting for nothing, it's still pretty good. The Mashi uh, hybrids, very underrated, going for $34. Or you can go even older. Yeah. Birth of Heavenwood. <laughs> Those are super popular yeah. seniors and ladies. 30 bucks. Oh, check out this Tour Edge exotic. I think that was in here the last time, but I don't think that ping bag was. Oh. Man, this ping. Whoop. Oh. oh, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That was the perfect dad joke. Let's go uh, check out the. Oh, the Cleveland launcher. That is so cool. Lefty. Let's go check out the lefty section. We never check out. I actually have a bunch in today. Let's go check those out. Got another Cleveland 588 RTX. Got a Ping K15. Oh, here's a pyramid putter. Uh, $50 on that. We found uh, one of those at the, uh, not at the, but at a uh, garage sale. i never seen it before and it actually ended up going for like 100 bucks or something like that mm -hmm. online. We sold it at the flea market though for fairly cheap. 70 bucks on the... Oh. <laughs> I was waiting for it to fall. I'm sorry. The grip stuck, so yeah. I couldn't move it. Both of us uh, messed up that one. I, I thought that was a spider. It's a uh, Ray Cook Sickage. Heck, whoop. I am just running into everything over here. Off. You said I thought it was a spider, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Got some uh, King Cobra SSIs. Oh, there's more of the burners. Oh, yeah. Man, that is a uh, burner overload. Man. I think I've used the word overload a thousand times. Got the uh, Titleist 775 CBs. My brother still uses the 704 CBs. Those are fancy items. Oh, it's got a, a bonus pitching wedge, yeah. Orion pitching wedge. Oh, some Ping I2s, absolute classics, $150 on those ones. Oh, nice. We got some uh, AP3s for $400. Ping Karstens, Wilson Irons. I think those are the CI, yeah, CI7s. Ping I3s for 99 That's a good deal on oh, those. No. Well, check out these grips. Super see-through. <laughs> They're like kind of falling apart though. <laughs> Super. What are these? Uh, Callaway Rogues going for 399. Hawkeye VFTs. These things were ridiculously expensive when they first came out. It's like the first irons that I remember uh, going for over fifteen hundred dollars. What else do we got down? Oh, we got some uh, Ping S59 knockoffs. KB Tours. Oh, check these out. Nike Victor. We were just talking about these. <laughs> they were staring right yeah, at Yeah, that is awesome. Got some rifle shafts in there. Still got the original grip. Oh, I think this is cool. approach wedge. Yeah. yeah, approach wedge. And then it is four iron all the way down. Yeah, that is still super cool. For $199, that is a... Oh, check these out. We were just talking about the Strixons too. The I-506s. Steel fiber shafts in there. What? The steel fiber shafts alone are worth like two hundred bucks yeah. if you just pull them hundred dollars that is crazy whoa what is that that is super goofy there's like pinholes i've never seen that before huh all right folks made it out to the course excited to try everything out and uh, we ended up passing on those uh, nike irons they were super sweet but we bought a set last week so yes. no need to uh, get another one but one of the putters that we picked up it's probably one of the most expensive ones yeah. that we picked up. I'm glad that I looked it up, but I'm super excited to try out the uh, Wilson wedge. So we're gonna do that first and then go head over to the uh, putting green. But that was, uh, 
unexpected. Unexpected uh, for sure. Not a brand that you would think would go for so much, but no. definitely uh, one to look out for. All right, the Wilson Wedge. Like I said, I used this thing in high school. It had the 58 degree, and I remember having a super low ball flight and spinning like crazy. So let's see if it's as good as I remember. Oh, that felt. Doesn't it feel like amazing to be honest with you? And the sole design is uh, very harsh. You can't really open it up, but for full shots, pretty dang good. Ooh. Might have some of my Wilson wedges going in the bag. I still have the 58, I never got rid of it. I'll take those. I would definitely take that. It doesn't look like it's very hard, but the green is very elevated. It's not a far shot, so to get a 54 that close, pretty dang sweet. Let's go see if the putters are as sweet as we think they're gonna be. All right, world's greatest putter going up with what's not the most expensive uh, putter of the day, but still a cool one, a Tadmore Pro 1. World's greatest putter. Oh, that was perfect speed. I thought it was gonna break out more to the left, but Tadmore actually at one time employed Scotty Cameron and had Bettinardi machining some of his putters. So definitely a, uh, yeah, it's really cool. A uh, high-end putter to uh, look out for. This one goes for about $200. If you find the first production ones, you can go for a little bit more. Oh, you got that save line perfectly. Doesn't break. Doesn't break. <laughs> All right, world's greatest putter. I think we got this one for $79 and it came with the head cover, but we forgot to get it. So we're gonna pick it up in a, a couple of days when we go back there. There it is. Oh, that one broke. Oh, Ooh, world's surrounded. greatest putter. Yeah, got it surrounded. Let's see if I can make some with the most expensive putter of the day. <laughs> this thing is uh, super beautiful though. Yeah. Really uh, crazy high quality uh, millings on there. Yeah, I like the millings. Of yeah, those. you could even see the millings on the uh, hosel, which is really cool. And Tadmore, some of his putters are really famous for having extremely uh, long necks. Oh, there's a, a T stamp right there. I'm not sure what that means, but that is a uh, meh. Circle tees on Scotty Cameron's a no for go for a lot, but I don't think that's what it is, but <laughs> no. super cool. And $79, can't beat that. No. Well, I have to say, I really like the feel of that putter, even though I didn't make any putts, but let's see if John can knock one in with the Odyssey Black Series number eight. Got it. Nailed it. I was like, man, I'm gonna mess this up. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> the screws are way faster than the last time Yes, they are. Here. You have perfect speed though. You're a much greatest putter. I can adapt. Oh, that felt so good. Nice. Wilson 8802 style putter, premium build. This thing looks so nice over the ball. This is a tricky putt. Yeah, that is a uh, tricky putt. But hopefully you guys did like this video, the Odyssey Black Series number eight. The tour design with the tungsten weight in the back. This thing is absolutely mint. And there's a couple that go for like $200 on uh, eBay, but in this condition, they are going for, one went, sold for 500 and another one sold for $379. Picked up for $100. Definitely one of the uh, most expensive putters that we've ever picked up and definitely the most expensive Odyssey putter that we've ever picked up. So hope you guys did like this video. Make sure you, uh, yeah, look out for uh, one of these. All of the Black Series are going for crazy money, more than they came out for like retail, so. And they're just stunning to look at. Yeah, they are, just like you. Beautiful. Beautiful, just like you. But hope you guys like this video. It's getting super windy. We've got a cold front coming through, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. It's yes. the biggest uh, news story going on right now, besides this. But hope you guys like this video. Like, and subscribe. Hey! We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Also, we're getting super close to 175,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. We're going to be giving away one of our highest, uh, highest end Scotty Cameron putters. Or you can have this if you want it. The uh, subscriber gets to uh, choose. There you go. When we reach 175,000 subscribers. Bye. Also, this might be the last video of the, uh, the uh, holiday season. So, guys, have a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you next we'll time. We'll see you next time. Remember, at 175,000 subscribers, Ashley gets to uh, stop waving. So, you're helping us all out here <laughs> and yourselves. <laughs> yes, and me. This is nice, though. Yeah, it is. One out of three for me. That's good. This is my problem, though, with the uh, 8802 style putters. Oh, the close ones? The close ones. I make a lot of like long range ones. Oh, no. Are you nice. still waving? Nice. Of course I'm still see? waving. I don't know if the camera's shaking. I'm trying to hold it still while waving. Boom. Let's go. Bye. Oh, <laughs> Happy it's holidays. Oh. We'll see you next time. What about Oh, no. I can't wave that squirrel. Can you see it? I can't zoom. Nature.